Yes, welcome back. We are still solving simultaneous equations graphically, yeah? so not by elimination, not by using the substitution method, no, graphically. And we already saw in the previous example that many times those equations are not written in the gradient intercept form. Yeah? So before I start graphing them, I manipulate them, yeah? I rearrange them so they are written in the gradient intercept form. So perhaps you want to put this video on pause before uh, and you try it uh, yourself first before, to, uh, before you continue and you look at my workings when you are done. So put it on pause now. Okay, so I hope you were successful. Let's rearrange those equations, yeah? So first I'll get rid of those two x's there. So I have to take away two x on the other side. So it will say two y equals a minus two x plus six. And I'll do the same over here, take away the 2x, yeah, minus y equals minus 2x plus 3. Good, one step closer. The first equation, yeah, because it has to say y equals and then the rest. So what do I do to get rid of that 2? Well, I divide it by 2, yeah, if I divide it by 2, but then that is only equal if I do the exact same thing on the right side of my equation. Eh? Hopefully you're quite comfortable now with rearranging or manipulating these kinds of equations. Minus 2x divided by 2, that's going to be minus x. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Good, so that one is in the gradient intercept form now. The second equation, it's minus y. I wanted to say y. Yeah, so how do I get rid of that minus sign? Well, for instance, by dividing it by minus 1, then it turns into y. So everything else divided by minus 1 as well. The result is the signs will change. Minus 2x becomes positive x, and a positive 3 becomes minus 3. Good. I've written both my equations now in the gradient, gradient intercept form. Now I'm going to graph them, and then I look at their uh, point of intersection, which is my solution. Okay, so the first one... Um, We'll make a fishbone table, um, sorry, x, y, yeah, three points, you only need two, but the third one, just check yourself, let's do zero, one, two for x, now what is y going to be when x is zero, minus zero, plus three, that's three, going a little bit quicker now if you don't mind, when x is one, y equals minus one, plus three, or three minus one, that is two, and when x is two, y equals minus 2 plus 3, yeah, I'm doing this equation now, minus 2 plus 3 is 1. Okay, I'm grabbing uh, a set of x's which I already prepared. I'm going to plot those three points and they should be on one line because it's a linear equation. 0, 3, which is over here, 1, 2, which is over here, 2, 1, that's over there. And that makes sense because I have a minus x, uh, the gradient is minus 1, so the line goes down, y intercept is 3. Let me see, you see it's all happening right in front of me, fantastic. Let me draw that line. Okay, you have to work as accurately as possible, eh? naturally. Let me label that, y, um, where is it, there it is, minus x plus 3. Okay, that's one line, i do that again for the other line. So I'll make another fishbone table. Yeah, just to organize those three coordinates. Okay, um, zero, one, and two. Oh, y is two times zero minus three. That is minus three. Y is yeah two times one minus three. Two minus three minus one. And for x is two. Y is two times two minus three. Four minus three, which is one. Got my three points. Let's grab those, let's see if they're on the line. Zero minus three, one, a two, a three. One minus one, one minus one, and two, one. Now is that on a line? Yes it is, good, then I didn't make a mistake. Yeah, if one of my points is not on the line, then I check my points, that's why I find three coordinates and not just two. And yeah, never forget why we get three coordinates. Yeah, we don't want to make any silly mistakes. Good. Now, for which x, for which y are both equations the same? Huh? That is what is uh, what solving simultaneous equations is all about. 
Well, that is over here. The coordinate there is 2, 1. So your answer is, well, when x is 2, yeah, when y is 1, that is the solution to these simultaneous equations. I hope you have the same. I have more examples for you. Yeah, so have a look at those two. All the best.